Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 29th. Keep in mind that this reading is not a private reading. It may not be for you. This is for whoever it's meant to be for. What do we have for November 29th for somebody? Somebody's afraid to start over. Needing to start over. Somebody doesn't have that backbone to do it. Either they, you know, they just can't do it. Why not? Afraid to take a risk. It's time for closure. It's time to release some sort of anxiety, but the anxiety is getting the best of them. Hmm. Okay. Somebody has an opportunity for abundance. And to step out of this storm that they've been staying in. They have the opportunity to walk away from something that is not stable. I mean, it's not a golden opportunity. It's definitely not. And they have the opportunity to walk away from it and take the high road but they're not doing so because of their fears, their anxieties. Ooh, yeah, it's about moving on. Somebody needs to find the mental strength to move on. They need to make that decision of that painful, stressful de decision. To heal. To remove themselves from this trouble that they're involved in. But they're going to have to decide to do so. And somebody is afraid to do it. So somebody is... Not... focused okay they have they're not focused no plan this is acting recklessly or being naive somebody is naively <laughs> holding on to something that's unstable and not solid Not love, that's for damn sure. Not happy either. One-sided situation, god damn it, same story. Oh, living in illusion. Why? Why do people stay in fantasy land? Why? And you need to, it's time to make that decision to go find your abundance. You'd be better off 
taking care of business on your own, being grateful, not sweating the small stuff. The time is now, the time is ripe for growth. But you have to take that leap of faith. I'm going to shuffle for that last card. Somebody is needing to move on and they're thinking about it. They are thinking about it. We only want one, so we're not going to take those. They're in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling. And they may, they may, you know, take that, be reckless and, and, I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, the emperor reversed. Yee. It's funny, I get that emperor daily. I think a lot of readers have too. This emperor is coming up a lot. A lot. So we have a male. The emperor is a male energy. Masculine, okay? We have a masculine person who is um, trying to manipulate a situation by the looks of things or this emperor has just lost his focus in his concentration completely. He has no more energy or desire to put in effort by the looks of things. And he may be a little... self-centered and egotistical and somebody is needing to move on from this individual making the decision to go on my own somebody is you know, somebody may be making that decision today. To release a one-sided situation. And go after extreme abundance. I want abundance in all areas. Somebody is making a decision to move in a new direction. Congratulations. Thank you, Lord. Because I am definitely sick of fantasy land. So, somebody is giving up on a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. The cup is empty. It's spilled. It's, it's done. It's empty. You can't fight gravity. And when the cup gets tipped upside down, the shit spills out. And there's no more growth and there's no more happiness. And there's an opportunity for extreme happiness and abundance once somebody gets on that boat. And it looks like somebody's getting on the boat. They're heading out, out of this situation. That's what's happening. Somebody is heading out of this situation. Because they realize that they're being manipulated and controlled by somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Somebody is being taken advantage of. They're acting naive. They're being reckless in love. It's like... <laughs> Stuck. I mean, the fool is free-spirited. Stuck when you should be free from this. I got a sneeze coming. I'm trying to push it down. We're dealing with somebody here that doesn't have integrity or backbone. 
They've lost their ambition. They have no ambition to start over, you know. So, you know, somebody's been hanging on to this situation, waiting for a fresh start when the other person has no desire to do so. Damn it. But somebody is realizing that this is a dead end and it's time to break free. It's time to take a break. This is the Four of Swords. This is the Four of Swords, okay? Make that painful, stressful decision with the Two of Swords to face your fears, to face the unknown and release this dead end situation. This idea, this thought that Whoever hurt you is coming back because before this card is the Three of Swords, somebody broke another person's heart. And, and, and you get to the Four of Swords or you add that Ace of Swords, waiting for the truth to come out. This person ain't got nothing to say. That's truthful anyway. And this caused a delay. It's caused a delay in extreme abundance. Somebody has been delaying making this decision. They've, they've totally went back and forth, back and forth, growing a lot of restless energy here. Somebody has been growing restless as the days go by, knowing that they need to make this decision, but not wanting to believe it. You're not really wanting to focus on it, right? I don't really want to focus on this even though deep down I know that I got to. There's this huge, huge fear of change. And there's a huge lack of planning here. Definitely lack of planning, lack of planning. Somebody has not planned accordingly for independence. And it's time to release. It's time to close this chapter. Now, nines are about closure, right? I mean, most people know that. The people that are watching these videos know nines are about closure. Nine, nine, nine. Time to close this chapter. Time to become consciously aware because the hermit card is also a nine. It's about conscious awareness. It's time to replan, refocus, go within. Plan B, wake up. The memories of the past, the memories of the good times are holding somebody back. There could be children involved, which happens quite a bit, right? Children get involved. But there is an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to bring balance back to your life once you move on. Sixes are about get your life back on track, the balance, the journey to balance and harmony. It's about taking that journey. It's time to take that journey to bring back balance and harmony and abundance and stability to your life. The time is ripe to do so right now. You, are, you have the opportunity to start over in a new direction. But you gotta close this chapter. So we have somebody here that is in the process of closing that book. It's been delayed for so long because somebody hasn't been practical. They've been in denial. They've been naive. And they've been holding on to a dead end situation in which the other person is not reciprocating love. And it's caused a lot of unhappiness in their life. But it looks as though somebody is moving on. 
Somebody is moving on. They're seeing the light. Five of Cups reverse. I'm no longer going to cry over this spilled milk. Not going to cry over it anymore. I realize that I have other opportunities. Somebody is moving on and realizing that there's no need, there's no need to cry over this. There's no looking back now. This person's not coming back. And the decision is being made to stop pretending and live in a lie. This person that somebody has been holding on to is not communicating. And they're in control. And somebody is about to take back their power. They're starting to realize that this isn't in... They've been trying to control the situation, but I think that somebody is starting to realize that this is out of their control. There's definitely some sort of dishonesty here. And it's, it's like, it's dishonesty with yourself, okay? It's, somebody has been dishonest with themselves, lying to themselves about the past. Getting distracted from what really is. Letting themselves get distracted from the truth. We got somebody here that has a an issue with their own image, right? With the Page of Wands. If somebody that has a self-image problem. Somebody that doesn't know their worth. Somebody that doesn't have confidence. Somebody that just doesn't isn't mature enough to... Deal. Can't deal with it. Just not mature enough to deal with the truth. I think that you may, you could receive, somebody could receive some message that they don't want to hear. Okay? It's a, it's a negative message that this person isn't coming back. Somebody's not coming back, you know? They've moved on. To somebody new. And the fact of the matter is, is that both people in this situation have somebody else that's better suited for them. And that's the truth. So there's a choice here. Somebody has a choice to move forward towards new love or, or stay where they're at where there's no love. Somebody is receiving some sort of news that whoever they were holding on to is in love with somebody else. Or they're coming to, they're accepting it. Today we have an opportunity to connect with somebody that is not your usual type. As you head in a new direction, if you are independent, on your own, doing good, living the good life, not sweating the small stuff, thinking positive, on cloud nine, stepped out of the storm, you have an opportunity for love with somebody that is not your usual type. For those of you that are living some sort of lie, once you move on, you will receive this perfect match brought to you from Cupid himself. But you have to get to this stage first where you're single and you love it. 
for the person that has reached this point, you have somebody that's coming into your life unexpectedly. But I'm here to tell you that this person is not your usual type. Could be somebody you've known before. Somebody from your childhood. For those of you that are single and have released, that have moved on, have closed that book. For those of you that are still holding on to this dead end situation, stop wasting your time. That person's not coming back. They don't have the moral backbone to apologize or move forward. Close the book so that you can get the right one. Because for those of you that are here, happy, abundant, you have an opportunity for love. This is for the 29th. Somebody is getting a new opportunity with the Five of Cups reverse. There's For those of you that are no longer crying over that spilled milk and are letting the universe drive, no longer trying to control it, you got a new option. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> That's all that I can say. Okay? So for those of you that are unable to take a risk and face your fears and move on you gotta get to this so yeah today is a day of uh, making a decision yesterday it was thinking right the 28th it was thinking somebody was really thinking in their head well that makes sense today this is a choice you want this soulmate connection? The real deal? Or you want to live a lie? So yeah, there's an opportunity for real love here. There is. With somebody that is better suited for you and is not your usual type. And you could receive some sort of... Um, Invitation. Invitation that leads you to this person. For those of you that have made the decision to accept the truth, you got a new love. Some of you are in the process of making the decision to go find new love. Patience. This card reminds me of the Temperance card. It's a card of healing and it's a card of divine timing. You see the clock? The top clock is ticking. What are you waiting for? The time is now to unite two people that are meant to be for the people that are ready for it. The people that have made the decision with the Seven of Cups. Somebody has made a decision to accept the truth about a relationship from their past. It's over. It's done. It's good. I'm great. I'm happy. Good. Like, great. And they got a new opportunity coming in that they've been waiting for. And the time is now they're going to receive it. They've evolved to the point of receiving what they deserve because they closed that chapter. So for those of you that are independent and you're doing great, congratulations. For those of you that are still miserable, you got to make that decision 
to get to this spot so that you can find your divine partner. Seriously, no shit. Hmm. Woo! Okay. Uh uh. Man holding heart. So yeah, we have a man that's that's gonna come to you with his heart. We have a man if you're the woman. And if you're the man, you know, this could be you offering your heart. Okay, it could be. We have somebody here that is opening their heart to another person because the time is now. So I feel like today is a day of receiving some sort of message perhaps or running into somebody even spontaneously. Like, what's that called? Serendipity? Yeah. Running into somebody and there being a such an attraction that is undeniable and <laughs> the time is now. <laughs> so be prepared. If you're out and about, you're single and you love it, you have to be here first, so trust me. If you're not here first, then you got to get here. You do. you got to get here. To get this perfect match. You know, I get these people that... that oh, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to keep it this one to myself until a later date. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we do have we do have an offer of love coming in for those of you that are ready. This is not the person. That is immature and negative and doesn't love you. I'm sorry, that's harsh. But that's the truth. This is a new connection. It is a new connection. You might have to make a choice. This is a choice. There's a cho there's absolutely a choice. You're definitely going to have to make a choice. With the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the Lover's Card, you absolutely have to make a choice. No doubt. You have an opportunity to really... Really, 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 really close that chapter from the past. The time is now. You ready? You ready? You ready for that real love? Or you want to keep playing with a player? The choice is yours. Good luck. Choose wisely, as stated in yesterday's reading. <laughs>